words. Words and water have much in common. Power to inspire, admire, awe, and revere. Power to support, maintain, and sustain. Or power to decimate and destroy. Water and words possess great power for good or harm. Water is one of nature's wonders and mostly out of human control. Words are under human management. You possess great force and might. It's at your disposal every second of every day. You can, you can profoundly impact people's lives. A few good words opens hearts, paves a smooth road for many to use, or blasts away a perceived wrong out of anger or hurt. Decimate without thought just so that you will feel better or repay in kind. Your words are a reflection of your heart. It's just as easy to spread kindness, happiness, and peace as it is to spread discord and hurt. Remember, it's the small things that mean and matter the most. Speak words that spread kindness and compassion. Believe the words you think or say. More of the same comes your way. Words spring forth like water from a fountain. Your words are like water, are either good or foul, depending upon the source. Unkind words pierce and cut the human psyche. Watch your words aren't spoken in anger or from fear, as great damage is inflicted. Pain festers in silence over time. Once spoken, damaging, harmful, or hurtful words can't be taken back. Many more words or apologies are required to begin the repair. Time is needed to allow the healing process to reestablish and build supports of the bridge that connect each to the other. In the anonymous world of cyberspace, it's easy to hide and attack. It's easier to be mean, hateful, and unkind when you don't see the anguish. Those that hide their identity to inflict pain, suffering, or bully someone see the same issue in them. To make them feel better, they make others feel worse. Of course, this is a short-term solution that doesn't solve a thing. Now, instead of one feeling bad, there are two or more filled with anguish, hurt, and pain. If your heart is wounded, resist the temptation to inflict this pain on others. Misery may love company. Make a different choice. Don't bring others down to your level. Raise you and them higher and higher. Your attitude can inflict damage, like a forceful blow or unkind world, or an unkind word. You wield immense power in the way you treat others. Look at all as equals, for you're not better than them. Truth is difficult for many. It can be difficult to hear, and yet it's good to know. Truth allows you to be even better than you were before. Let everyone know that they'll receive the truth when they come to you. Truth leads to trust. Trust is the foundational block to long-lasting relationships. Truth and love are to help and serve all. It's rarely easy to receive and accept criticism or correction. To grow and improve, you need to accept something needs to be, something needs to change. When offered from concern or out of love, the harshness and unfairness will be tempered and transformed into beautiful music. Keep your heart open. You will know if the words are spoken out of love or concern. None of us is perfect, and yet we should strive to be the best you can be. You have an opinion and knowledge to share. It's important to be interested in what others offer Experience has shown that those that talk the longest and the loudest generally have the least to say. Listen with both your heart and mind to find out what is being revealed. Watch your words. Learn to use your words carefully, wisely, and sparingly. Your words shouldn't burden. Rather, uplift and be a blessing to all that surrounds you. Be kind and gracious. You'll receive what you give. Choose your words with thought and kindness, with your heart and mind.